today's Kawaii Cooking, I'm doing a Dango Dessert Kit with a little taiyaki sandwich and a uh, rice ball with some bean paste and a little strawberry on top. I looked this up online and I'm really excited to make this. Obviously, it's not going to be savory, so I don't have to throw it up or anything. <laughs> Anyways, let's get started. Busting into this bad boy, going through and opening it up. Here's what's inside. We have the little molds. We have this big packet right here. These two little cutesy packets. This. Oh my gosh, there's a ton of packets. Get our handy dandy shoveler. Little skewer stick for the dongo. Then here is what we're gonna be using to mix everything up in. Let's get started. First packet you're gonna use is the purple packet. We're going to add it to the tray number one. This is our taiyaki for the fish molds. We're gonna fill it up with water to the very first line. All right, and we are gonna mix this up. Whoa, that's okay, we don't need those little flakes. It's a really nice consistency. It congeals super quickly. Mix it up, mix it up, mix it up real nice. All right, that's looking real good. We're gonna take the taiyaki and place them in the mold. It's in so nicely, and I'm gonna smooth it out. I want this to look really, really good. Like, really fishy. I'm gonna put a little piece in here, too. It's like a little garnish. So I'm thinking the best way to do this is to smush it. Smush it in real good. And then I'll go through my little shovel, and I'll take off the excess. I've done this before. I'm a professional. Start with the little one first since, you know, it's the easiest. That looks good. Push this down. Make sure it's getting into the mold. Real nice lack. Just start scraping it off. They definitely give you more than you need. I understand the other people's challenge when I was watching the videos. I was like, mm, they're being so messy. Look at me, hot mess. I want this to be flat because we're putting the bean paste in between it. I don't want it to be too lumpy. It's really sticky. Pretty good about this one though. Now to handle this blob. Oh my gosh, why did they give you so much? Like what am I supposed to do? I can feed a family with this. Just think of the poor Taiyaki's lives. I could have been saved. This is much harder than it looks. All right, new technique. Start off with a little bit and then add to it because this is kind of complicated. Make sure that it's really filling out the mold. It smells pretty good. Mmm, like vanilla pudding. I've resorted to using a giant turkey baster. <laughs> To be more accurate, I'm going to fill tray two all the way to the first line with water. I think this is just the better way to do it, TBH. Sometimes they come with little droppers and it's great. This time, they did not. What were they thinking? I don't know. Get accurate with this. Whoa, whoa, it's good. Now we're gonna open up the brown packet. Woo, and add it to tray two. This is our bean paste, which I thought was chocolate sauce. Just mix it all up, nice and good like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smells like chocolate. This is complicated. Whoa, okay. Now we're going to add the chocolate or bean paste to the little fishies. So to take these out, I'm just gonna kind of flop them over and peel away from the sides and just let gravity do the rest. Be gentle though. This looks like a magic card. Ooh. Yes, that looks good. All of our hard work has paid off. Congratulations. I'm gonna set this aside. Let's see which one looks prettier. Let's peel this one away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, this one's gonna be the top. It's way better. So I'll use this side. I'm going to add the chocolate sauce. Ooh, it thickened up really nicely. Okay, I feel way better about that. It was almost a little too runny. I want the sauce to kind of be coming out of the sides a little bit, like how it is in the picture. So I'm gonna add a lot to the center. This candy kit definitely gives you more than you need. Now I'm going to add the little fishy. Oh, did I put enough? I think it's fine. All right, here we go. Adding the little fishy guy, squeezing down. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's great, actually. Oh my gosh, perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my plate. First dish ready. Taiyaki. Now that that's done, I'm gonna move on and start working on my mochi. Add water to the second line. It's a big packet. We got a lot of mix to mix. 
I hold my breath when I do these. Kind of like when I play video games. Things get really intense. Breathing is not an option. That's looking pretty good. Second line. Whew, I can breathe again. Yay. Now the giant packet is gonna go into this one right here. Cool. Real cool. Real cool. Yeah. Get every last drop in there. And next, just ever so gently mix it together. Like so. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. I like what's happening here. Feels real good. This is why I do it, guys. This is why I do it. All right, I had to add a little bit more water because it was really dry. And sometimes, like, you don't need to, and you just need to keep working out the mixture, but this one was definitely not enough. I find that this is a little bit challenging because it's it's not as exact. If you add the water first and you meet the water line and then you add the mixture, it's, it's really hard to get it all mixed together. But if you do it the other way around, um, like, the water is, it's just, it's not accurate because the mixture is like something science, I don't know. I'm gonna get in here with my hands, see what I can do. Yeah, this works actually. You just mix it together with your hands. Cause there's only a little bit of like powder I can still feel in here. It needs to be mixed together. So this is gonna be for the three dongos and then uh, a little extra piece is gonna be for what I found out what it is. It's called Daifugu. So I'm just taking edge of this. I'm gonna probably roll it up real good. Um, roll it into a really nice circle, like so, and then just flatten it out, and then round the edges so it's nice and smooth. If your daifuku is a little bit um, like powdery still and you're having a hard time smoothing the edges, just dip your finger in a little bit of water and add it to the edge, and it kind of helps mold it a little bit better. Perfect! I'm gonna set this aside right here. Now it's time to add the rest of my chocolate mixture to the center of this. I'm gonna plop it in real nice lack. Yeah, this is uh, really satisfying. That's looking good. That's looking really good. <laughs> I like it. Now I'm gonna take the rest of the mochi and split it up into threes for the dongo. It's at like a really good consistency right now. So for this, I'm just gonna roll it into a ball. I feel like heat and like a gentle amount of pressure really helps smooth things out. And like I said, if you, you're not getting the uh, the perfect circles you're wanting, just add a little bit of water. All right, this is looking pretty good. I rounded up the others, and now I'm gonna go through and skewer them with this little skewer guy. I, I see people do this individually, but I don't know if I like, this might help hold them together a little bit. I'm gonna try, I'm just gonna go for it. I don't know if this will end well, we'll just see. Hold them together a little like this. A little twist, twist a roux. Just need to readjust this top one. I'm gonna flatten these down just a tiny bit. All right, those are looking somewhat decent. I'm gonna place them here so they're prepped and ready for the sauce. Speaking of which, I need to add a little strawberry to that guy. So let's do that now. I'm gonna add some water to tray three all the way up to the line. Let's mix up the strawberry. I'm gonna add it in, get a nice and gentle lack. I'm gonna go through and mix it up. Oh, this smells good. This smells really good. I like it. Oh my gosh. Yes. It smells more like raspberries than it does strawberries, but it, oh no. It kind of smells like the Hello Kitty candy. Ooh, ooh. I like this a lot. Okay. I'm gonna go through and add the strawberry to the mold. Just gonna kind of pancake it in there. It's looking pretty good. I was just informed by someone standing on the side of the camera that if I do not take these strawberry pieces out immediately, they will become too hard and not stick together. So I'm gonna go through and kind of roll my finger um, along the edges and let gravity do the rest. If you rush it, it's just not gonna look good. So just take your time. It's almost done. Surrender yourself, strawberry. I am the mother strawberry. Almost got it. Woo! Oh, there's a little strawberry guy. We'll see which one looks the best, but oh, this is difficult. It's like doing this weird suction cup game. Oh, this is the nicer side. And I'm gonna go ahead and put them together, connect them, and it is just as difficult as it looks. I'm gonna use the shovel actually. Push them together a little. That works. Just go through and gently and I'll push the mixture together. It's looking way better. There we go. We have a beautiful strawberry. I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the top. Beautiful. I love it. For our last packet, this is the sauce that goes on the dango. And add water to it. You always want to start off with less with these kits. 
than more because you don't have any extra packets. Well, this thing is like packed. Chill, pack, chill. Just open it up over, adding the orange packet very massively. Whoa, the smell is weird on this one. Last one, let's mix it up real nice like. Remember that one time I did takoyaki? The sauce on that was really gross. This doesn't smell really sweet, but it's kind of sweet, but there's definitely more spices involved in this. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna mix it up until all the little granulars are gone. Granulars do not look sexy on my dongbell. Did anyone watching this video watch Clanid? The main character really liked dongos. She had like little stuffed animals and she would sing the song. Dongo, dongo. Just me? Okay, all right, it's looking good. This is the last finishing touch to our dessert dango kit. We'll add the sauce now, ever so gently. I'm gonna start with it towards the center. Well, it kinda just goes wherever it pleases. It's supposed to look like it's like covering it all. I'm using the shovel like a paintbrush right now. As long as the like top rounded part of the dango is covered, it's gonna look pretty good. <sighs> Let's break for those nice close-up shots. Taste test. If you're making this at home, I'm so sorry. It was really difficult, especially getting the strawberries out, but it was really fun to make and I, I feel I feel proud about how it turned out. Hopefully it tastes as good as it smells. I'm gonna try the taiyaki first. It's just like the texture is just not pleasant at all, but here we go. Mmm. It's like a vanilla cookie. That's really good actually. When I was mixing it, it totally tastes like vanilla pudding, and that's what that tastes like. I feel like everything's gonna taste kind of the same. But I'll try this little guy. I'm not gonna touch the strawberry because that was way too hard to make, and I just want to keep it perfect. Hmm, that's interesting. It's a little chalky. Like, you know the fun dip sticks? It tastes like a fun dip stick. <laughs> that's so weird. Last one, I'm gonna try this. Ooh, it's all congealed. Hmm. Oh man, yeah, that sauce is salty. Why does that sauce taste like that? Well, fun dip in salty sauce. <laughs> Weird. That's it for this poppin' cooking. If you liked it, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!